Okay, guys, so here is the definition of these two axioms. Uh, translation invariance, uh, which is related to scale invariance and strong monotonicity. It's a very strong assumption. So a bargaining rule F satisfies translation invariance if for any bargaining problem SD and for any uh, real uh, vector Z, uh, the F of this new transformed uh, uh, bargaining problem, how do I transform it? Well, I add this vector Z to my bargaining set Z, all right? And then I also add this Z to my uh, disagreement point. All right, so remember in the scale invariance, I had lambda um, and that was a positive affine transformation. This is also a positive affine transformation, but it's uh, a specific positive affine transformation because xi plus zi basically means uh, the, the constant, the positive number I'm multiplying xi is one, and then I am adding a, a, a number zi. Okay, so that's a specific. Uh, it doesn't tell me that for any transformation, just one specific transformation. So on the, when, I, when I look at the solution of this transformed bargaining problem, well, it should be equal to my original, the solution of my original bargaining problem plus this, this z vector, all right? Um, again, this is weaker than scale invariance because as I said, that's just one specific uh, uh, scaling, uh, positive affine transformation. By the way, for those who doesn't know what, I mean, how we can add uh, two sets, right? This is a set. This is also a set which has only one element. Well, it's simple. I basically add every vector in here with this vector z. All right, so it's basically x plus z. x is a vector coming from set s. z is a vector. I, I, I already know that. Both of them are coming from rn. So basically s plus z, the set s plus the set z is nothing but x plus z, okay? The second assumption, the strong monotonicity, it's stronger than individual monotonicity. So F, the bargaining rule, satisfies strong monotonicity if, for every bargaining problem, if T is a larger bargaining set, well then, uh, the, <clears throat> the bargaining solution should offer each individual uh, at least as high as what they were receiving in this smaller bargaining problem, all right? So the solution of the bargaining game, a bargaining problem of T uh, should be greater than or equal to this payoff vector, should be greater than or equal to the payoff vector that was suggested by this rule uh, in the bargaining game S. When, obviously, if T is a larger. All right, so remember the scale in very, uh, I'm sorry, uh, individual monotonicity, it was like if the aspiration points of the other guys are the same, well then player I, uh, and if, if T is a larger bargaining set, player I should get a larger share uh, weekly. But here it doesn't say, uh, you know, whether the other guys' um, aspiration points are increasing, decreasing. We don't know, we don't care. As long as T is a larger set, well, this should hold. Okay, so in that sense, it's a stronger uh, uh, concept. So the Kalais theorem, basically, if you retain weak product optimality and symmetry, and then add these two axioms, translation invariance and strong monotonicity, well, then you are going to have one and only one rule, bargaining rule, which is the egalitarian rule, which means you're, you, you, you should be distributing uh, uh, the surplus to agents equally. Okay?